Hey you two! This is Super Zemus and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Here he comes to save the day! His name is Cecil of Baron! Nah, nah. But anyway, here we have another boss fight! The Mom Bomb! So anyway, this boss fight is our first boss fight that actually, at, at one point in the boss fight, requires a strategy. So yeah, they're actually going to make you think now. So I like that, but anyway, the reason why I said leave a spot open in the front row is that Yong will automatically be put there. So yeah, Yong is going to be obscene in the entire game. Yang is definitely my favorite physical attacker in the entire game, or my favorite character in battle. Yeah, he is just obscene, but you'll see why. Anyway, here we have the Mom Bomb. Now, there is an enemy you can meet up with called the Bomb in, in Mount Hobbs. Even though they look the same, they are not the same. So, what, um, uh, the difference is you'll see in a bit, but the bomb and what another enemy are the enemies I didn't want to show off, but, uh, you'll see why. But anyway, let's start fighting this mom bomb. Uh, he, she is weak to fire, almost said he, but no, that wouldn't be right. And, uh, we want to cast Cure on, uh, Edward. Edward needs it. Anyway, yeah, Yong is just obscene, though. He has an ability called Kick. We saw what that did in the last episode. What that does is, um, it essentially attacks all enemies at, um, on the screen for little damage. I really don't like it, because it's only a little damage, but, um, you know, use it if you want to. <clears throat> I prefer just Yong's physical attacks in general, just because he's just so obscene like that. Uh, Rydia could use a little healing there. Yeah, it's pretty easy to keep up with the mom bomb here. Oh, sorry about that, viewers. A little lag there, but... Alright, doing pretty good so far. Now, at this point, I think I want to start parrying. Yes, I do! Holy crap! We just succeeded in making her angry, viewers. I think I've seen that face before. Where have I seen that face before, viewers? Yeah, but once she... Once mom bomb becomes this big hulking... I don't know what it is. Looks like a genie, almost. Doesn't it look like a genie? I think it looks like a genie. But you want to start parrying, and that is why. She explodes and splits into uh, six different bombs. Now, here we have um, the two new enemies I didn't show off. The bomb, which is the red guy, and the bluish gray guy is the gray bomb. Um, the, the bombs, the red, the red bombs there, um, they only have 50 HP, however, they're not really weak to anything. I suggest using your physical attackers to kill them off. Only 50 HP, pretty easy there. The Gray Bombs, however, have a lot, uh, double that, so 100 HP, however, they actually are weak to fire, so... We're gonna have Rydia go after, um, the Gray Bombs with her Fire 1 spell. Also, viewers, each, uh, all the bombs have an ability called Explode. What that does is that um, it takes their current HP, how much damage you deal to them, and um, they it takes how much HP they have left, they explode onto one of your um, party members, and you take as much damage as they have HP left. So I'll, I'll demonstrate here. So uh, Edward, you can go after the bomb in the front there. Um, or not. See, if that would have only dealt like 90 damage, uh, the bomb would have exploded and dealt only 10 damage, because that's how much HP it has left. Um, let's see, I want, I want everyone at least over 100 HP, so, uh, Rosa, you, I think I'll give you the curing because of the fact that you're my white mage, and if you die, well, I'm not all screwed, I still have, um, I still have, uh, like, uh, lifes or phoenix downs in my inventory, so, it's not the end of the world, but it would be, uh, a burden, so, yeah, let's go after that bomb. Rydia, go after that bomb. And we want to cure on Edward. Yeah, keep everyone over 100 HP because if the bombs explode, um, they're gonna deal... Uh, if the bombs explode without, um, without you to get dealing any damage, they're gonna deal 100 damage at the most, so... Ooh, that could be bad. Uh, no, parry for a second. Parry for a second, guys. I don't want it to explode on Yang. 
Okay, cure one on Yon. Ooh, don't die on me there. Oh crap, don't hit Yon, don't hit Yon. Thank you! Alright, now we should be able to take out that last bomb. See, that's the reason why I was a little scared, because... Well, that's a lot of damage there, 100 damage, but... Anyway, alright, we got all the bombs and gray bombs. Good job, guys. Ooh, and Edward gained a level. Good job, Edward. Alright, so... That's that, viewers. Yeah, it takes a little strategy there, but, uh, it's just the beginning. It gets even harder through the game. I mean, it, it doesn't get really hard, but, I mean, it, it's, it's a challenge. If it's the first time you're playing, it becomes a little challenge later in the game, but, anyway. Ah! Ah, I see! Yeah, we're on our way to Fabul. You think you could help us get there? Yeah, and we're kind of there. He's kind of after your air crystal now. I want to do something about that. Yep. You're able to put the pieces together really fast there, Yang. I'm proud of you. Well, I guess if he's a monk, I mean, he wouldn't just be phys uh, it wouldn't just be an attacker. He would also have to meditate during his training for good mind as well for a good body. Just thinking. Yeah, Mysidia was attacked, Anzian, the Bool, and then Teroyo would be the last one. Only Survivor? What the? You, how, why'd you take the entire army with you? I mean, yeah, it's training, but the entire army? Can't you go, like, in shifts or something? Just started their training. Eh, what's the worst that could possibly happen? Well, probably to basically put you off your guard. Golbez might be after the crystal. Yeah, yeah, Yong. Me and you think alike. I like you, Yong. Me and you think alike. Yeah, we gotta hurry, Yong. Hurry. Yeah, it's my cross to bear. I don't really watch Yu-Gi-Oh that much. Actually, I never really did. Never really cared for it. Yep, it... We kind of... We're kind of in this together, Yong. And Rydia... Yeah. Sorry I brought that up, Rydia. Poured salt on those old wounds. Of course! Of course! All right, and Yang joins the party. Probably the best, um, the best fighter in the entire game. He is just obscene. But yeah, we want him in the front row there, viewers. And uh, yeah, we probably want to cure up a little. Let's see. Yeah, you're taking a real big beating there, Cecil. You really need the cure. And I still have a lot of MP. Look how much MP I have left, viewers. I can cure up to max without even worrying. Alright, so anyway, now that Yang's in our party, we want to equip him with a few things. We want to equip him with the Leather Helm and the Iron Ring, so that'll be better for his defense there. And let's go on through the rest of Mount Hobbs. Pretty easy, viewers. Yeah, this is a really short dungeon, minus the boss fight. I mean, yeah, that's there, but... What was I talking about? Gosh dang it, you interrupted me, game, and then I lost my train of thought. I think it was about how short a dungeon this is. I think that was what it is. If it wasn't, well, that's now the subject of what we're talking about. It was a short dungeon, but that was this dungeon was main, mainly for the purpose of introducing Yang. But anyway, now that we made it out of Mount Hobbs, we're gonna go east to Fabul. It's a bit of a trek there, but we'll make it. Here we have some new enemies. We got the Needler in the back there, just like the Sword Rat earlier in the game. Um, they're going to, um, they're going to be dealing damage, they're going to be counterattacking if you don't kill them, so we'll go after the Imp Captain. Um, Cecil can, uh, take out the Needler in the back there. Hopefully, he'll be able to one-shot him. Not quite sure if he will, and he didn't. Uh, oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my gosh, Yang, what was that? Oh, uh, let's use Lightning One, maybe that'll kill him off. It, sorry, viewers, I wasn't expecting him to... 
I was meant to attacking one of the imp captains, but I ended up attacking Rydia instead. Sorry, Rydia! Will you forgive me? Jeez, I burnt down her hometown, now I started punching her in the face. I'm sorry, Rydia, I need to be more kind to you. But anyway, viewers, yeah, uh, for, um, it's a bit of a trek to, um, Fabul, so we're gonna be on the road for a while. But anyway, um, the Needler there counterattacks when you attack, and then the Imp Captain's just basically a stronger version of, uh, the Goblin, so... Wait, are we seriously almost there? I seriously remember this being... Game, stop interrupting me! Well, that's the explanation. I always got interrupted by enemies the entire way there, but... Alright, we made it to Fabul. I remember it. Let me finish my sentence. I remember it being a longer trek, but there it's about the same time because I kept getting into random encounters every other step. I was almost there, game, but anyway, here in Fabul, um, uh, what I did on the way here, viewers, is, um, I actually ran from a few battles, mainly because well, I've already fought them, and it's going to take way too long to kill them anyway. I'm, I'm just impatient to get here, but here's Fabul, but I actually want to go east again, and, and through this mountain range over here. Because when we go over, when we go over here, come on, come on, you can do it, Cecil, get in there! Yes! No more random encounters! What was that game? I... Come on, be a little merciful. Anyway, the reason why I came here is because if we look around, it's somewhere around here. I'm not quite... There it is! Thank you, White Chocobo, for helping me find that. We've got a carrot. Yeah, this is the main reason... Er, that's the main reason I'm going to be visiting uh, Chocobo Forest, is just to find those carrots. But anyway, let's get a Chocobo and go all the way back to Pabool. Yeah, I only came... went there for the carrot. That... not really worth it, but... Anyway... Now we're at... Krillin Castle! <laughs> I mean, Fabool! Wow, these guys all look like Krillin! Great! Dragon Ball Z references all day today, viewers! I feel happy! Well, it did happen, so... Suck it up! Nah, nah. But anyway, I want to go to the weapon shop here, and I want to buy... Um, uh, <coughs> I want to buy a... Uh, I have a lot of gold here. So, if you don't have this much gold, which you should by now, if you fought all the random encounters on your way here, uh, throughout the game, um, you should have a lot of gold if you, well, y you should be at here by now, but, uh, I want to buy a black helm, a black armor, and black gloves. They're and, uh, really, it's not that necessary, because we won't re really be using it for long, but, uh, why not get it? And then I want to buy an Ice Claw, and a Thunder Claw there. So, yeah, a lot of stuff to buy here, but, uh, anyway, let's equip that stuff, shall we? Uh, no, we're not gonna equip it on Rydia, she can't equip that stuff, but I wanna equip the, uh, Black Helm, Black Armor, and Black Gloves. Alright, there we go. And on uh, Young, I want to equip the Ice Claw. Um, now, I don't know if I went over the- or I did go over this, but, um, you can switch out, um, weapons during battle, so, uh, the, um, Yang's claws are always gonna be interchangeable throughout almost the entire game, so, just so you know, viewers, but, anyway, what's up here? Uh, well, don't go over there yet, I wanna go over here first, viewers, and the reason why is because we can get some treasure, let's take the right tower first. Yes, I am okay. Say the exact same thing, that, that's helpful. Uh, contemplating, I see. Not meditating? Contemplating. Alright, how's it going? Oh, you got it! Yes. Well, not for long, actually. I get some 500 gold there, that's nice. Ooh, a dancer! Sure, why not? What the? That's not traditional dancing music. What the? Holy crap! Wow! Wow, Luigi! Uh. Krillin, never dance in your life. 
I'm gonna go upstairs now after that. Maybe <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep on that. That's uh <laughs> I'm gonna sleep in the king's bed on th that. I, I wanna get that out of my head. That was a bit scary. Krillin, you're a fighter, not not a dancer. You should never be a dancer. Yes, I can see that. I slept in his bed, too. Yeah, you don't have to sleep in... That's why I didn't sleep in the inn, viewers, because you could just go up there and rest up for free. So, I like it when they do that. Get free nights at the inn, viewers. And, uh, there we go. Cure one. Cure one, heal, and a tent. Anything over here? No. All right. Just making sure, viewers. I'm, I get a little paranoid with the pot. I mean, pots. I meant it plurally. And there's Namming Way if you want, if you care, but I don't. Hello. Huh. You're welcome. Thought you'd be a little worried about Yang, but uh, all right. So yeah, that's Yang's wife. I think uh, her name's Sheila. If I remember correctly, I think her name's Sheila. I, I think so. I, I, maybe I forget. Maybe I'm thinking wrong. But anyway, let's go see the king now. Yeah, you, you gotta do something. Truly, absolutely, truly, one hundred percent truly. Who are you, people? Defense? What, what is it with them spelling defense like that? I always thought it was spelled S with an S instead of a C. It, it is spelled with an S, right? I, I, I'm i sorry, it's just... Uh, why do they spell defense like that? I don't know, viewers. Well, you should if you want to... Yeah, we protected your main leader here. Yes! Yes! Here's our proof, King of Fabool! Yeah, you don't want to lose your beloved friend, too! Wait, who would that be? Uh, I mean, uh, for the King of Fabool, not not Edward. I know who that is. I mean, I'm talking about the King of Fabool. Yeah, of course! Uh, I wonder what happens if I say no. No! Wait, what? Seriously? What? Huh! <laughs> Sorry, viewers, I didn't know that happened. Uh, no, no, I was just, I was just... Uh, yeah, let's go through that again. Stop talking! Sorry, viewers, I, I, actually, I never actually pressed no before. I just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> Good thing they didn't lock me out of that. <laughs> Sorry, viewers, I was just curious to see what happens. Yeah! Well, I mean, Edward's alright. Well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> He's not a combatant, really. He's more of like a crowd control person. Alright, so... Our white mage and... Summoner red mage. Yeah, let's get going now. Bye, Rosa. Bye, Radia. Alright. Now it's time for the battle of our life. The defense. Or what? No. The defense of the king or kingdom of Fabul. They are coming. They are coming, viewers. They shall come. But can we fend them off and protect the crystal of air? And whatever happened to Cain? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This is Super Zemus, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.